Hi Chrissy, you've asked about the number of minutes past eight o'clock just expressed as a whole number from a whole hundreds of sets of times you've got. First of all, let's have a little look how Excel slash OpenOffice stores time. Now let's just insert a bit of work in space here and uh, sort of, oops, hiccuped. Format these to just be general rather than anything else. Where's the general button? There we go. Excel stores whole day as one. So if we type one into the box, like so, right click that, format it to be time, and we've got this one hours, minutes, seconds. Okay, it now shows zero. Well, in the top box, 24 midnight. Now you'll notice the first thing is that the actual cell value has now changed to be 24 colon zero, zero colon, which isn't what's actually in the cell, it's actually a one in the cell. And so we can really see what's in the cell, we just put equals one instead. You'll see now it just says equals one. We change that to equals 0.5, you'll see now it's 12 midday because it's half of one day. So a quarter of a day, 0.25, is 6 in the morning. And 3 quarters of the day, 0.75, is 6 in the evening. So 8 o'clock is roughly a third of a day. But we can just actually use the formula. We'll open some brackets. 8, 8 divide 24, close brackets. And that's 8 o'clock now. So now we've got the display showing 8 o'clock. But actually in the cell is 8 divided by 24, 8 24 of one day. In this cell we can put plus this value, minus this value, and then just press enter. And now it shows us 16, so it's like 16 minutes between those two times there, which is what we want. But we really would like to show that as just 16, not no hours, no seconds, the 16 minute part. So if we unformat that from time and just put it back to number with no decimal place, it's just to see what it is, always going to show zero, isn't it? Format the cell, put it as number with quite a few decimal places because it's obviously quite a small fraction of the day. And I'll just stretch that column so you can read it. You've got 0 0.11111, which is 0 0.0111. That's how Excel would store 16 minutes. That's what it thinks 16 minutes are. Right. So if we multiply that, we'll just pop some brackets around there. Multiply that by 60, because there are 60 minutes an hour, 0 0.66666, and multiply it by 24 as well, for the 24 hours in a day. Now we've got 16 as an actual number, and we can then lose all those decimal points okay so that now just shows the number 16 if we just put a little anchor in the in the second column down by putting a dollar sign in front of the number two there then we can copy this a few times we see we get the same result as someone has typed in these are number 25 but these are actual formulas Nothing wrong then with right clicking those, copy, clicking, paste special, just paste the values without the formulas. And then you've got, for some reason, well, obviously, you've got sometimes you've got 22.002 because it can't do the maths bang on the 24, 25 has come out bang on. But you've still got just actual numbers now that you can play with. Right. Now, can we do this all in one? Rather than having B$2, we know in B2 we've simply got 8 divided by 24, because that's 8 in the morning. So now, well, I'll just pop in. Instead of putting B2, we can put 8 divided by 24. This is quite confusing, really, because you've got like... A6 minus 8 divided by 24 back multiplied by 60 by 24 again. But nevertheless, we've still got our 16 in there. And this time we don't need the dollar because we've put the exact formula in 
yes we want to overwrite those cells so we've got whatever's in a8 8 24 less 8 divided by 24 <laughs> that's a coincidence multiply back up by 60 and 24 to give you the number there and that's the kind of thing you want and then you can just get that formula paste it all the way down your rows and if obviously we're out of sync here and what we should really have done was copied that formula because it's in a6 where we wanted it paste that formula in press enter so in this row here we've got a6 minus eight o'clock 824 it's going to be a very small decimal number so multiply 60 the number of minutes an hour 24 the number of hours in a day they can take that, that formula now and just page down hopefully i did control c as yet lots of page downs till we get to the end of your data which is way down here way down here how far down is it oops up a little bit there we go and paste and now we can see the final one there you've got 1715 555 minutes after eight o'clock so there is your entire spreadsheet remove some of our little bits we had at the top for working out and just delete that as well there we go so now there's the figures someone had typed in I'm fairly accurate until here but it suddenly starts to go wrong someone must have made a mistake around 10 o'clock and put 200 whereas actually it's 120 minutes but there's your formula paste it all the way down and then you can simply copy that column paste special I hope that came up on the screen paste special and just paste the numbers in and now you've just got all the numbers